Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, late numbering. So late numbering is uh, something you know we can use if we want our primary keys needs to be set sequentially. Okay. If it is an early numbering, what would happen is so let's say for example thousand is our primary key field. Then after that, uh, you know we are trying to create another instance which will it will be supposed to be thousand one, right? And due to some validation or something, you know this uh this uh, instance will be ignored okay then what happened we will try to create another instance which will become you know 1002 okay so uh here 1000 and 1002 will be pushed to the database table due to the consistent data okay somehow due to some validation 1001 become you know uh ignored okay so in this case you know we miss we are missing the 1001 and it's not be a sequential one right so to avoid this kind of a uh, situation, we can use late numbering and uh, just keep in mind the late numbering, you cannot use a data type of U UUID because this UUID is some, some random generated uh, value. So we cannot keep it because we want our primary key field should be a sequential one. Okay. So why this late numbering is required in real cases, like if you take a invoicing, okay. So the invoicing supposed to be a, in the sequential order i am going to show you a quick demo about how do we you know generate a you uh, generate a primary key fields uh, in the late numbering here i have taken uh, some new applications where i have only uh, two columns like you know something called unique key and some data okay there are two columns and currently it does not have any data so i am trying to create it so let's say example uh, now right now there is no primary key fields uh, 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 no logic has been done so i give some random data and try to create it so what has happened then there is no uh, primary key was generated right so even if you go back and uh, it will be nothing okay let's uh, uh, try to make the logic of uh, late numbering i'll go back the go back to the behavior definition so this is my behavior definition uh, okay so here i have you know some uh, read only fields okay and i have create update delete okay everything looks fine so uh, i'm going to for late numbering i'm going to introduce to the behavior definition uh, header late numbering okay so that is done and i'll activate it is going to tell me to implement with the warnings so let's see yeah so usually we have to you know implement the late numbering implementation in a different class handlers okay so which is basically inheriting from this behavior saver but if you check other validations or other things it will be you know inheriting from the handler okay so this is just to uh, you know uh, give you a, uh, more information about where this has to be you know uh, implemented and all so here the save sequence phase is where, is where our adjust number method has to be re redefined okay so here we are going to create a logic to generate our uh, unique uh, uh, primary key fields okay so i'll execute this so first of all let's check the uh, parameters so you will having you are not having any um, importing parameters here as you can see so that is something called changing mapped and reported so and there is no failed also right so here you cannot rise if if any error happened like in generating or uh, your number range or uh, some error could happen right so that time you cannot report to your uh, application so that is that is the, that is the thing called you know no point of return so uh, here you are having mapped anyway so here in this case we are going to use a map to only why because the map will help to uh, you know uh, map our primary key fields to the uh, current current instance which is going to be created okay let's see what are that in the map i'm going to loop map so it's nothing we are having only one behavior definition okay so let's see what are the things out there in the map so you you are having key percentage key percentage pid percentage pre percentage temporary 
and pearl and unique key. Okay. So you you don't need to worry about all the things. So what you have to mainly uh, focus on is it's what this PID. So this is called preliminary ID. I will explain why this is needed. So for example, I have mentioned this adjust numbers will be get executed in the safe sequence phase, but our data will get uh, created or validated or determined in the interface phase, in interaction phase, right? So in the interaction phase, um, where uh, you know uh, you need to somehow identify your unique records. So how do you identify? In that case, you you there we are not creating any unique unique. I mean primary key for our newly created instance. So some unique uh, uh, reference should be needs to be uh, there to identify the particular new instance. Okay. So what if it is not there? Then we won't find that particular uh, whatever the new re record we are we are created. Okay. So for that reason framework will uh, you know create generate some unique id and it will populate in the percentage pid right so and you don't need to worry about these things everything will be framework taken care of it so what exactly you are going to do is just populate your uh, you know generate your uh, new primary key field and update here that is enough so uh, so i'm going to update in the same uh, you know work area so i just try to use something called a uh, reference so you could use a uh, 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 field symbols as well in this case this is my unique key which needs to column which needs to get populated so i'm just doing something as of now i'm just doing like x1 okay um, let's enhance this later just for the demo i'm just using this as a one i activate this Okay, let's go back and uh, test the application. So right now no data. Let's try to create some data. So test one. Okay, you could see the unique key one. What we said it came now. Earlier it was empty. Okay, now we implemented late numbering method. Uh, and we made a logic there and you could see that unique key but as of course in uh, real time applications uh, this we cannot make any constants here so simply i'm going to enhance this constant So what I have done, I'm just looking for in this database tables, okay, what is the maximum number uh, for the primary key field, then what could I do is it just we can add plus one to this uh, maximum number and we update every time we create a new instance. So this is something, you know, uh, so I'm going to add, a, so I'm going to have a new value like a new key, something here and uh, i'm going to add one to this let's see how it works so i'm just reloading this again and uh, try to create a new instance wait a second sorry um, yeah so try to clear we have one right so try to create a new one so let's call this this two okay i know this why this error came is due to some data type issue i hope so uh, sorry 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 new key i forgot this let's quickly go back and i discard this and i'm going to create it again test it to yeah so it works well right uh, so your unique key will become uh, working correctly your logic is working correctly test three so three it's coming okay 
so uh, 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 so this is this is what you know uh, the late numbering where you have to uh, implement this such as numbers you i just using this uh, logic right now but in real cases you could use uh, number ranges or, uh, or any other different way uh, but yeah but uh, why we need this to if you want your primary key fields needs to be sequential then definitely you can go with this uh, late numbering uh, okay uh, so just make sure your data type or primary key data type or should not be UUID. It should be a sequential of course and yeah, so you can use this. So let's dig deeper. Maybe uh, I want to uh, show you in the debugging session about the uh, percentage PID, right? Uh, so I'll just show something like test four here. Okay, your debugger point here. So if you check uh, new key, it's going to be four, right? And uh, if you check the simple table, right? It is going to have one record always and your percentage PAD has been populated with some value, right? So this is your preliminary, you know, uh, ID which you should to recognize or which you should to refer this unique ID, okay? And you have to pause this somehow we were new key here and it will get populated so yeah uh, that's it i wanted to show you guys uh, maybe uh, if you like this video just please do thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more videos thank you for watching have a great day